equilibrium of a rigid body definition equilibrium is the state when all the external forces acting on a rigid body form a system of forces equivalent to zero there will be no rotation or translation the forces are referred to as balanced for a rigid body to be in mechanical equilibrium, two conditions have to be satisfied. 1. The net external force or the vector sum of all the external forces acting on the body must be zero. That is, F bar is equal to sigma F bar is equal to zero. From Newton's second law, F bar is equal to m a bar f bar is equal to m a bar is equal to zero for translational equilibrium therefore a bar is equal to zero that implies d v bar by dt is equal to zero therefore v bar is equal to constant or zero the following points can be inferred from the above equation. 1. When a body is in translational equilibrium, it will be either at rest, V is equal to 0, or in uniform motion. 2. The body will have zero linear acceleration if F is equal to minus du by dr where u is potential energy of the body in translational equilibrium f is equal to minus du by dr is equal to zero therefore u is equal to constant that is in equilibrium potential energy of the body is constant maximum or minimum two a rigid body is said to be in rotational equilibrium if the body does not rotate or rotates with constant angular velocity. For this, the next external torque or the vector sum of all the torques acting on the body is zero. A body is in rotational equilibrium when algebraic sum of moments of all the forces acting on the body about a fixed point is zero. Example, in case of beam balance or seesaw, the system will be in rotational equilibrium. If F1 into L1 minus F2 into L2 is equal to zero. Now, F1 into L1 is equal to plus tau 1 bar anti-clockwise moment and F2 into L2 is equal to minus tau bar 2 clockwise moment. Tau 1 bar plus tau 2 bar is equal to 0. Sigma tau bar is equal to 0. That is, for rotational equilibrium, total external force acting on the body must be 0. The equation of motion of a rotating body is given by tau external is equal to sigma tau i bar is equal to dl bar by dt is equal to zero. L bar is equal to constant. That is, angular momentum of the body in rotational equilibrium will stay constant. As tau bar external is equal to I alpha bar is equal to zero. Therefore, alpha bar is equal to zero. That is, angular acceleration of the body in rotational equilibrium. equilibrium. A body is said to be in partial equilibrium if it is in translational equilibrium and not in rotational equilibrium. Or, the body may be in rotational equilibrium and not in translational equilibrium. Example 
Let us consider a light rod, AB of negligible mass with center at C. Two parallel forces, each of magnitude F, are applied at the ends perpendicular to the rod as shown in the figure below. F plus F is equal to 2F not equal to 0. As sigma F bar is equal to 0, therefore the rod will not be in translational equilibrium. The moment of force at A and B about fixed point C will be equal in magnitude is equal to AF but opposite in sense. Therefore the net moment of forces on the rod will be zero. Hence the rod will be in rotational equilibrium. Let the force applied at the end B of the rod be reversed. Here total force on the rod is equal to F minus F is equal to zero. Therefore, the rod is in translational equilibrium. Moments of both forces about C are equal, is equal to AF, but they are not opposite. They act in the same sense and cause anti-clockwise rotation of the rod. Thus, the rod is not in rotational equilibrium.